Now the Fukushima prefectural government has found that the, the hay fed to cattle at a farm near the crippled power plant is radioactive. The news follows a revelation that 11 cows were found contaminated last week with more than triple the legal limit of cesium. Officials say that 75,000 becquerels per kilogram of cesium was detected in the feed on Sunday. The samples were taken from feed and well water at a farm in Minamisoma City within the planned evacuation zone. The figure is over 50 times the government's safety limit of 300 becquerels per kilogram. Fukushima's government said the farm's owner kept the cows inside, but they were fed hay left outside, outdoors. The farmer says he ran out of feed, so they fed the animals hay kept outside after the nuclear accident. Stupid! You're so stupid! Eleven cattle were ordered slaughtered and measures were taken to stop beef from the cows being distributed. The farm previously sent six cattle to slaughterhouses in Tokyo and Tochigi Prefecture in May and June. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government and the Health Ministry say they are trying to trace them. Fukushima is screening pre-shipment cattle in the evacuation zone and planned evacuation area. But the screening only detects radioactivity on the surface of the animals, not internal contamination. A senior Japanese uh, health ministry official says all beef cattle raised in certain areas around the Fukushima Daiichi plants should be tested. He added that it would be better, it would be best cattle across Japan should be tested, but that is not practical given the limited resources available. He says the ministry will decide on the areas to be tested to see if the cows meet government safety standards. Humans are fucking stupid. Would it be hazardous to a person's health to eat beef contaminated with cesium? Keigo Endo, an expert on nuclear medicine and president of the Kyoto College of Medical Science, says eating meat contaminated with the radioactive substance cesium only occasionally will not lead to health problems. He says that eating 500 grams of meat containing cesium in amounts less than the government's nest set safety limit for 200 days will result in only one millisievert of radiation being accumulated in the human body. He suggests, however, that the government immediately take steps to prevent cesium contaminated beef from reaching consumers by such means as increasing the frequency and thoroughness of checks. A senior health ministry official has said that ideally all cattle across Japan would be tested but added that this is not practicable given the limited resources available. The official says the ministry will decide on areas where testing will be carried out to see if cows there meet government safety standards. Where testing will be carried out to see if cows there meet government safety standards. You're fired. TEPCO says it has detected airborne radioactive materials above the government standard in the number two reactor building. TEPCO has been investigating inside the number three, or rather the three reactor buildings and the areas surrounding them since early this month. The utility said on Monday that robots found airborne cesium-134 in the number two reactor building with levels ranging from 40 to 65 times above the government standard. The buildup of radioactive air is believed to have originated from explosions and steam leaking from the damaged reactors. The plant operator said it needs to confirm the origin and the amount of the radioactive substances. It also needs to reduce the contamination so that work can begin to bring the reactors under control. Makeshift equipment is hindering efforts to get the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant's reactors under control. Tokyo Electric is working to replace it with equipment that can hold up for longer term use. No shit. Improvised devices and systems are cooling the reactors and decontaminating radioactive water, but they've been plagued by glitches. The number five reactor lost its cooling for a while earlier this month after seawater leaked from a hose that had been fitted as a stopgap measure. TEPCO says the hose had been installed wrongly and is reinstalling it on Monday. The company says it needs more durable equipment, as getting the reactors under control is going to take a while. It says the makeshift hosing needs particularly thorough improvement as it carries highly contaminated water.
Human stupidity has been a great source of entertainment for us humans for as long as humanity has existed. It is a major cash cow for those smart enough to take advantage of it. The operator of the crippled uh, plant uh, at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant uh, is struggling to deal with radioactive water that is accumulating in reactor buildings. Water being injected to cool reactors is becoming highly radioactive and collecting in the basements of reactor buildings. In some facilities, contaminated water is just 20 centimeters below the top of the basement. On July 2nd, Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, stopped using fresh water to cool the reactors and instead began running a circulatory cooling system. The system pumps out and decontaminates radioactive water before recycling it as a coolant. But the system has suffered a series of problems. On Sunday, it was suspended for 12 hours after radioactive water leaked from a decontamination device. Many of the glitches were caused by non-durable materials used in parts of the system. TEPCO is replacing some of the parts with more durable materials. The main challenge for the utility is to make the entire decontamination device sturdier for long-term use. What's the problem? I haven't got a problem. I've got fucking problems. Plural. The Japanese government is set to announce its position on restarting nuclear reactors that have been shut down for regular inspections. Industry Minister Banli Kaneda visited Sangha Prefecture on June 29th and requested the restarting of the number two and three reactors at the Genkai nuclear power plant. But last week, Prime Minister Naoto Kan called existing safety standards insufficient and floated his idea of conducting a new safety test, known as a stress test, on all reactors across the country. Local governments hosting nuclear plants say they agree with Kan's idea from the perspective of ensuring safety, but feel the announcement was abrupt and the state's stance is unclear. In response, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Edano plans to hold a news conference on Monday to clarify the government's position on restarting suspended reactors. Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Tetsuro Fukuyama talked about the stress test on an NHK TV program on Sunday. I think that the stress test will be one of the requirements for restarting reactors after routine checks. The stress tests will show how unexpected problems can be dealt with. I think to run new safety tests will build a feeling of safety among local residents. Three kilometers from the city, the Vladimir Ilyich Lenin nuclear power plant, where several thousand people go to work each day. Tonight, the 176 employees of Block 4 have been ordered to carry out a test on a self-fueling system of the reactor, something that could save energy. At 1.23 a.m., the security systems are deactivated and the experiment begins. A series of detonations go off in the core of the reactor. While Pripyat sleeps peacefully, the floor of the plant begins to tremble. The 1,200-ton cover of the reactor suddenly blasts into the air. An ultra-powerful stream of radioactive vapor releases uranium and graphite over hundreds of meters around the plant. From the gaping hole, a spray of fire charged with radioactive particles in fusion shoots a thousand meters into the sky.